You are all listening to <laughs> Crazy Radio. Crazy Radio. Morning, Messi Gang Gang. What's popping, everybody? It's your Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grow the cup of tea. Let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here and you want to join the Messi Gang kindly, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. We're shady, we're messy, we're a little bit nosy. Let's get into some mess, honey. So, Zari and Tizzy had couple of interviews or rather had an interview some bloggers uh, where she was basically explaining her situation with the young rich and famous and exactly what happened she also talked about the husband and how much her dowry was you all know that zari self-proclaimed billionaire and people wanted to know how much did mr lutaya paid for your dowry miss mamas they people wanted to know right I really shocked them when Zari said exactly how much or rather what she wanted from Mr. Lutaya include Lutaya himself as Pazari will tell you. Let's listen to this interview and then you tell me what you think. Mimi, I think right now, okay, Angalia Mimi, I've had everything I've ever wanted in this world. No one many bariki, have a beautiful life. What tongue was Zima, me when you Zima, be sure songs in a ten bear. Napata kazi kazi nyingi. Nime bariki or sana. So for me, me wangu bila ata kumtesa. Nime mumba tu kurani. Wallahi. Okay, you guys, there goes for Zari. She said to my non Swahili listeners, my favorite Swahilians, like I call them, Zari is basically saying that I've had everything I've ever wanted in this earth. My babies are healthy, myself, I'm healthy. So the only thing that I wanted from my husband was Quran, and that's it, you guys. And she even said that even Shakib himself was shocked because she, he thought that since Zari was this pro self proclaimed rich woman uh, she was going to ask a little bit more but where will he get it from but anywho zari instead told the hubby he only wanted a kura let's listen yeah what we any mimi apa ato watu wengine waneza kusema oh zari alikuwaga mke wangu ama vitu kama hivu ule dade wametoka nae ni ukweli ista kuzumzia sana ni ukweli ista kuzumzia sana lakini ametoka nae at some point wakawa mefanya karatasi kuna siku alikuwa ataka wainda amerika wakafanya zile karatasi unajua sa zahine vizu zainakuwa raisi kusema nimeolewa lakini haikukua mpaka wazazi wake mwenyewe huyu ametoka akafanya interview Uganda akasema no mimi i was not married to you tumefanya hivyo because of abcd na mwanamke mwenyewe that time alikuwa mimba sijui ya sita karibu anaza anasema ule mume wangu mimba mtu mwenyewe ashawa watu za watu and of course zari also addressed the so called marriage that happened between her husband and another woman and of course zari came out and said that it's true they knew each other but they only wanted to get married because the guy needed papers to go to america at the time she even said that the woman was pregnant with the sixth child and they were never married okay they were never married according to zari the only thing the guy wanted from the woman is the visa but i'm just asking myself if a dude can go as far as getting married to another woman for a paper yeah i know people do it but i found it weird honestly i found it weird if he can do that what makes me sure that he ain't go marry me for my money or my fortune or my status in the society i'm just asking that for the sake of zari and the people that believe in her you know what i'm saying because when the first story came out uh zari zari fans were saying it's fake oh that um Zari herself came out and said the story was fake. We didn't know which part was fake. Indeed, if they knew each other or the woman was using it to get back at the guy. But Zari has finally came out and addressed the part where she meant it was fake. She, re she didn't deny that indeed they were together, but she denied the fact that they were married. She said in her words, not mine, that they only wanted to get married because of the papers. And the guy already did an interview and said that we were never married it was strictly was it business <laughs> i'm just saying 
And I will keep the class system with Celeste Chopin at the comment section as always. I love you to the moon and back. Adios.